How's it going folks? Haven't made a talky video for a while, so made it back from beautiful Southeast Asia. Got back 12 midday Tuesday after a harrowing trip. I check out of my hotel at noon Malaysian time on Monday. Then I have an eight hour wait for my flight to Qatar. Then that flight is about eight hours. Then an eight hour layover in Doha before another flight back to Manchester, which lasted over seven hours. Then an almost three hour train ride back to my home in North Wales. So on the move or being held up. Yeah, it was a journey back which took, I don't know what we're talking here, 33, 35 hours, something like that. When I got back, had a sit down and just tried to take it in. I realised how tired and fucked up with the jet lag and sleep deprivation I actually was. Yeah, not in a good way. I uh, slept for almost 12 hours, completely out of it. Then I had to go to work, which was tough. But I managed to struggle through. Another thing I had to contend with was the big shift in temperature. In Kuala Lumpur, we're talking almost 30 degrees every day. And it didn't cool down much at night either, so I'd have to leave the aircon running on low. The humidity, wow. Took some getting used to, but after a couple of days I was loving it. And I don't know if this is true for all people, but when I'm in a hot climate, my everyday aches and pains, the little yet annoying things tend to disappear and I just feel overall much better. So Tuesday afternoon, land in Manchester, rush through immigration, get to the train, get on, roll out of the station and I'm met by dark grey cloud cover, pissy rain and the uninspiring sights of industrial northern England. Yeah. The drop off in temperature is something like 20 degrees. So for the first 24 hours or so after I get back, I had the shivers and a banging headache and sort of lost my voice as well, which is only just sort of coming back now. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I'm feeling somewhat more human now. All that aside, what can I say about Malaysia? Naturally, it's very beautiful. Rainforests, tropical gardens in the middle of the city that you can walk around in. Lots to see and do. Museums, galleries, the zoo, planetarium. That was a cool experience. Lots of religious sites to see. Even though it's a predominantly Muslim country, it's ethnically diverse. There's a large Chinese population and a fairly large Indian population also. So plenty of Buddhist and Hindu sites to see. One of the Hindu sites is a place called the Batau Caves, which is quite an amazing complex. I went on a cave walk there, which I've never done before place looked like a set from an Indiana Jones film. Yeah. People in Kuala Lumpur, very warm, friendly, welcoming. Yeah, no one gave me any shit, never felt in any danger. I was going out to the cinema most nights and walking back to the hotel close to midnight. City was still buzzing and bustling. Good value for money also, food and travel expenses way cheaper than here in the UK. That didn't necessarily surprise me. A couple of things that did though, 
were the fact that pubs and bars and the availability of alcohol was, yeah, all over the place. And another thing that surprised me was seeing quite a fair few transgender people working in the city as waitresses at American-style diners and working as salespeople at Giorgio Armani and the like. It's a country where it's very illegal to be gay or trans and impersonating a woman is prohibited, but I guess this law is enforced selectively. And as far as the drinking goes, well, I guess it's not a problem unless it leads to antisocial behaviour on the streets, and I certainly didn't see any of that. It was very chilled out and orderly. Even though it's a long way away for people in the West, I would thoroughly recommend that you go to Malaysia and soak it up. Amazing place. Good people. Good times.